welcome guys uh, in this tutorial we will see how to download jdk 1.8 version and uh, how to install that and configure the java path in the environmental variable and also we will see how to download the eclipse id and uh, write one program okay so you can download the jdk from the official link if you have a oracle user id and password then you can of course log in go to this url so this url will be present in the description box so you can open that url then go to jdk downloads and then you will see the different version so for example for 32 bit you can use this link and for 64 bit you can go for this for windows based system and then if you have linux you can go for this pack page okay same for mac os okay so you just need to click on this and it will show you the login page so you have to log in and then you have to uh, click on the link download confirmation and then it will download files if you don't have the username password id okay account on the oracle so you can directly jump on to second url so this is a filepo website once you click on that it will directly download the jdk 1.8 okay so like this now i'm gonna gonna download it because i already have that let me cancel this okay so once you have downloaded this file it will look like this okay so you have to double click on that and you have to click on next text in the installation wizard once that is done so you have to set the java environmental variable so now how to set that so you have to set one variable name okay so that java underscore home so you have to go to program files go to java then you will see the folder like this then you have to go to this directory then you have to copy that path then that variable path location will be this and you have to give in the environmental variable that is java underscore o is nothing but sorry till that bin path so that is your path variable in the path you have to give like this and i'll show you this so you have to go to search and type env so you have to open edit the system environmental variables not this one okay you have to just open this you have to click on your own variables and make sure you are the admin user okay then i already set up that variable so if if you have not set up that you have to click on new then you have to give the variable name as java underscore home like this then this entire path or you can directly browse the directory then click on ok I am not going to do that because I already have that and then you have to open par variable so you have to click on edit and then you have to click on new and in the new you have to give the variable name as this java underscore home slash b i have already given that so i'm not going to give it then you have to click on ok click on ok and click on ok then you open the command prompt then type in java space dash version so 
this will show you the version installed on your system okay also if you want to see the compiler version then you have to type java c dash version hit enter so it will show you the compiler version also okay so this is how we uh, set up the path for the jdk okay so tomorrow if you want to install jdk 14 and you want to set up the path then what you have to do is you have to just change this path java underscore home okay so wherever you are installed so let's say jdk 14 is there so you have to copy that path and you have to change that path only okay that will set up your path now we will see how we get the eclipse ide this is for enterprise edition okay just click on this link it will go to the browser and then you have to click on download so that will download the zip file i am not going to download i already downloaded it so it will show you like this one so yeah this one so you have to right click and extract it okay you can extract by 7 zip or any other uh, zip utility winrar or something like that then you get the folder like this you have to open that folder and you have to double click on this eclipse.exe so so basically it will start eclipse id so basically this will open the eclipse id okay now let us verify whether we have whether we have done the correct setup or not so we will just go to the project then java project con next then we will give the project as name demo java then click on finish then okay, let it be I won't change it this perspective then right click on the project give it new package let's say I'm giving also demo finish and then I'll right click on it and new class let's say hello and then select public static animation then here we'll write sys out control space and we'll write hello world control shift f control s then we'll run the program yep so we are good with the setup Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.